Hello everybody, it's Alex Yu with Rage and Roll Review Transformers 3 Edition. Got some more news for you today. There's a video and several photos out there which are featuring some post-battle romance between our two leads. Uh, you might want to check that out or may not. I'm not really particularly interested in it so I won't be providing a link for you. Um, some more action happened last week as the crew was actually on the LaSalle Street Bridge and it included uh, scenes with uh, Sam, the, the U.S. military, and also uh, Megatron and Bumble's, Bumblebee's head on a stick. But uh, also what's really cool is that um, some footage has surfaced from the events of last week, which features the Wreckers driving through some debris and just totally like blasting with full guns blazing. All right, so obviously they're driving towards a Decepticon and, and just uh, all their machine guns are just blasting at it, right? So there's a video of it below. You can check out the uh, check it out on the description box. Now, here's something really cool. A fueling truck has appeared on set. You know when, like, new cars and vehicles appear on the set, um, they kind of stick out like a sore thumb because they usually are very unique in some way. I mean, it's not just some SUV that's kind of parked. Like, you obviously know that this car is not part of the production or not part of the movie, right? It's not going to transform. But this one, now this one is really unique looking. You might want to check out the photos. Um, it, it, it's really dirty and rusty. And um, I think people should believe that it's a Decepticon. And it actually doesn't show a faction symbol. But where it should have a, a faction symbol on at the front of its um, hood is actually covered with uh, blue tape for some reason. So I think they kind of want to keep it secret of which faction it actually belongs to. But I don't know. I mean, it's pretty obvious that it's a uh, Decepticon. Excuse me. Some gas. <laughs> Anyways, uh, some, uh, some people are speculating that it could be Motormaster, Onslaught, Scourge, or, uh, or Octane, or even Mega Octane. You know, so uh, those are some good possibilities. I'm think I think I'm going to go with Octane on this one. Because it just, is, the name seems kind of appropriate for a, a feeling truck like that. Alright, so uh, check out the photos. And um, that's all the news I, I have for this webisode. I know it's kind of short, but um, that's all I have for this webisode. And um, tune in again, and I'm going to have some more updates for you. Alright, see ya. Peace.